find this monumental occasion of 500 interviews. I'd just like to say, job well done to Steve Black. You know, when you're cutting your teeth on groups like White Lion and Winger and Warrant, you know, you're going to make it in this world. When you're talking to artists like Axl Rose and Bruce Springsteen and Keith Richards, you know you've made it. But when you've done 500 of them, what are you still doing hanging around? Get out of the business. And another 500 too, Steve Black. My very first interview was in November of 1989 with a band called Sabotage. I was so nervous at the time, it was pretty funny. I, I literally spilled Diet Coke on it, and you can still see that, luckily the autographs didn't get smeared, but you can see where the Diet Coke soaked in everywhere. One of the coolest things for me, my, my first connections to music was as a producer. And I've had a chance to talk to some fantastic producers, including my all-time musical legend, Bob Ezrin, a uh, longtime friend of mine, Paul O'Neill, and uh, Sir George Martin as well, of course, did all that famous work with the Beatles. And um, out of the blue, I had an offer to go to a place called Happy Road Studios, in John's Wood, and I didn't know what the hell it was. So I cycled along there in my old naval greatcoat, and the fellow said, I'm looking for someone to make, uh, produce classical records for me. And this is a guy who's running Parliament Records. Right. I, I said, how much are you going to pay me? And he said, £7.50 a week. I said, I'll take it. The biggest point of contention on, on the wall was uh, comfortably numb because um, I wanted to put this orchestra on it. In fact, I'd already done it. But Dave, who was the principal writer of that musically, right. uh, I always heard it as a pretty spare track. I mean, he heard it as basically guitar, bass, drums, and maybe a piano. And he really hated the, the big orchestra. He just hated it. He hated that da-da-da-da-da-da-da. He hated that chart. Well, we had a bit of flack um, from the number of the bass album, because, you know, purely because, you know, the particular song. And, um, you know, that song was all, it was just a short story. Um, it was supposedly a, a dream that, that, with a twist at the end of it uh, that turns to reality kind of thing. And um, we got a bit of flack for that. There's, what happens, I've never sat down and like constructed a solo note for now. I don't have the patience. Um, you just have the but, ability in you. you. Well, <laughs> just what happens is you, you work on a song and you get to a part where it seems like there's going to be a solo section or whatever, and I've always been sort of like something always comes to mind and you just improvise. Uh, over the course of doing all these interviews, you do get a chance to kind of forge relationships. I mean, it's not, I guess it's kind of a friendship, but it's not like I go hang out at football games with these guys, but I've gotten to know Zach Wilde very well. Uh, cultivated a really good friendship with Steve Vai, uh, of course Paul O'Neill, all the guys from Trans-Siberian Orchestra. It's really been a pleasure working with all of these great musicians. It's funny, I listened to it about a month and a half ago and it sounded so good, the sound of it. I'm like, how did I do that? <laughs> you know, it wasn't, it wasn't festooned with big thick electric guitars, that's why. Right. <laughs> no one remembers solos, you know, they remember rhythms first, you know what I mean? It'd be like asking a drummer, oh yeah, play that song for me, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, they just remember remember chords, you know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? So you could sing sing the song over it, but I mean, uh, you know, it's like you gotta have a cake first, you know what I mean? And then like the solos are the icing on the cake, you know what right. I mean? To celebrate the occasion of 500 career interviews, I went ahead and posted the entire list on my blog at ChopShopRadio.com, so check it out. We're good with everything, brother. Yeah. God bless you, the family. Congratulations on your engagement and another 19 years and another 500 interviews. I hope so. Thank you, sir. Thank you.